and adjusting a patient with hardware in the back. Um, I won't get into a lot of the specifics right now of the case, but what I want to talk about and demonstrate today is the adjustment of this third lumbar because that's where the pressure is. And the listing on the third lumbar is PRS-M. And as you can see, it's tilting to that left side. Why is it PRSM? It's a PRS, but because of that curvature, we don't want to be adjusting uh, that way. Sorry, PRS. Um, you just want to be careful with the rods. And what does that mean? If we look here closer, it's a little dark, but there's a lot of good disc space there. Um, the pins are not affecting the disc at all. So we've adjusted her twice here, and she's actually getting some really good relief with this. So let's go ahead and show how to do a post-surgical uh, adjustment. Come right over here, please. Let's just protect her modesty. And we're going to need to count two ways. Now, they also remove the spinous, so we're not going to feel the spinuses here. So let's count from top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three. Now, so they fused or they put the rods between sacrum. Five, four, three. Let's get another count. We're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Okay, so we're actually off by one segment. It's very important to count top, bottom, bottom up, and to, you know, when you're starting out, or even if you've been out in practice a long time, to do it a couple of times, especially with something when you have a case like this, which is a little bit more sensitive than a general adjustment. So we're just right on that spinous, PRS. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful set. Next, we're gonna set her third thoracic. And with the third thoracic, I'm going to set that as a PRS nice and easy. Yeah. Now that one's a little tight. Can you drop your hands down? Ma? Hat niche up, please. Niche, niche. Bas. Still want a little bit more. Nice and easy there. We really got to get a deeper set in there. There you go. Gotcha. So that was L3, T3, and I'm going to actually use the drop board in the high-low. We're going to contact this. We're setting this as an ASIN. I'm holding the sacrum. The ala is right here. I'm holding the sacrum because I don't really want to disrupt it. And we're going to bring the pelvis down and out. There's more AS than IN. And the sound is the board, not her. That's oh. it. Good.